Well, hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's another Frilici Friday. Hopefully you guys all had a good week this last week. Summer is here, right? Hopefully you're all able to um, get out a little bit maybe and enjoy some summer fun, right? So let's see, is everybody enjoying the new, uh, not holiday, the new annual catalog, right? Hello, Miss K. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Jamie. You guys are all going to be popping on. I love to see all the names popping on here. So thank you guys. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, so like I said, the new annual catalog. What is your favorite new? Oh, no, I just dropped like an ink refill. Fell off the back of the, <laughs> oh, I'll have to remember it's back there. Yes, the new annual catalog. Hello, Miss Philomena. Yeah, so tell me, what is your favorite new thing in here? Have you guys all put your first order in yet? And hopefully it's on its way or in process to you, right? Um, so let's see, we are going to be playing with this week was the, <clears throat> the Tasteful Touches Bundle. This beautiful, I have fallen in love with this stamp set and all the cool imagery. And then I love the cursive. I'm on like a I don't know, the fonts are, um, <laughs> are kind of a thing for me. Um, so anyway, I love that cursive kind of whimsical font. And then this set of dies, and I don't even think they're all in here. Hey, Abby, how are you? Um, but this awesome set of, these are called the Tasteful Label dies. And actually, I've got a couple of them back there that we're going to be using today. But these are all of the other ones. Hey, Miss Nikki, this basically is like a must-have die set. If you do not have these, you are going to want them. Hello, Pamela. Um, these are going to, I mean, look at all the different shapes and sizes that are in there. So those can frame just about any sentiment or image that um, we have, right? Plus the two bigger ones back here also, like I said, we're going to use those today. I always have to hide them in the back so I don't have to search around for which one I need for later. So yeah, we'll be making two fun projects later. We've been sharing fun projects all week long right here on the Facebook group with that Tasteful Touches bundle, right? I will be, um, when I demonstrate the projects, then I will upload pictures. I actually have my first class back down at the stamp studio this afternoon. I'm super like excited and hopefully everything goes well. I got my mask. Um, so yeah, we'll, we're going to be trying to do our best with the social distancing. It's not a super big space, but we're all, we're going to do our best with that. And um, so my point was that normally, um, like after Facebook Live, I get everything uploaded to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and to YouTube and everywhere else, but I'm not gonna be able to do that because I have class this afternoon. So I'll be doing that tomorrow, actually. So watch for that. So if you want um, item codes, dimensions, colors, hey, Denise, um, anything that you need to make the projects that I demonstrate, I'm gonna upload that. Like it'll be, like I said, it'll be on my blog tomorrow at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? Um, and then don't forget, you get the two um, projects that I make um, with your online order of at least $30. I have the host code. I'll pull that out in a little bit. It's always on my blog. Hey, Miss Lori. Um, so ever, if ever you go to order and you can't find the host code, just go to gatheringinspiration.com and it's on that right hand side toolbar. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to do a couple of quick reminders, right? Hey, Sally. So first off, Stampin' Up! this whole month long is doing this awesome promotion where when you put your big, what I call like the Mac Daddy order in of at least $250, normally you get 10% in host rewards, which is $25 in free stuff, whatever you want. But now when you get put a $250 order in, you get an extra $25 free. So you actually get $50 free stuff, whatever you want on a $250 order. So that's one way to get awesome benefits. Another, and I think even better way, is to get the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit deal. You get to pick any bundle in the catalog. For example, maybe you wanna get the Tasteful Touches bundle. You can pick this awesome stamp set. It is a cling mount stamp set, has nine different beautiful images in it. And then I think this had two, four, six, this has 10 different dies in it. So you can get this for free along with $125 in product and only paid $99 plus sales tax. It is like an insane good deal. If you don't want this bundle, you can pick any other bundle, any stamp set and dies or stamp set and punch bundle, right? Um, <clears throat> 
you can pick those in your starter kit. So yes, first woodcraft class tonight. Good luck, Miss Sally. I hope that goes really well. <laughs> and you're putting paper pumpkin out there. Awesome. That would be very, that's a great way to kind of lead in to any of these ladies that are doing like the woodworking, woodcrafting class, right? To maybe get them interested in stamping up as well. Nice, very good idea, Miss Sally. Um, so yeah, so back to starter kit. Get the starter kit, right? That's an awesome deal. $99 plus sales tax, $125 dollars and stuff and a free bundle whatever bundle you want uh no shipping either there's no shipping charge then you can put your first your own first mac daddy order in and as demonstrators we always get all the same uh rewards as customers do too so you could put your 250 dollars order in get your 20 percent discount and get 50 dollars in free stuff as well so that that's like the sweet deal right now hello miss susie <laughs> yes so lots and lots of good stuff this whole month long the starter kit deal is going on and that promotion with a 250 dollars order getting 25 dollars free both of those are going on through the end of june june 30th okay um couple quick reminders about i have so i have the designer series paper share basically you get a quarter of a pack of all of the paper and if i can flip yeah i can flip yeah so a quarter of a pack of all of these papers so there are eight different ones there right and then there are two more here plus you're going to get a sample of the new in color designer series paper too so what is that i think that's 11 right four and four and three yep that's 11 plus you actually um wait this is designer series i'm like get i got too many different things going on actually no you get plus the brights regals subtles and neutrals also so you get everything all of the designer series paper in the annual catalog with the exception of the new in colors the 2020 2022 in colors because i want you to get those in your in color club order um, but basically everything else and you're actually getting with all of the brights regal subtles and neutrals you're getting a half a pack because they only give me two of each so you're going to get a half a pack of every single pattern and color in all of our um, Bryce Regal Subtles and Neutrals and then as like a freebie I'm throwing in one more sheet of not these in colors but last year's in colors the 2019-21 in colors you get a sheet of each of those colors and patterns for free just for getting the designer series paper share I have I think five spots still available right now and then I can do in groups of four I, I ordered I kind of miscounted and then I was hoping I would get a few more people. So I ordered a little bit of extra in the designer series paper share. So I believe I have five more spots in the designer series paper share right now, all ready to go. It's $65 for the designer series paper share. If you need it shipped to you, I'm shipping a priority mail. That's an additional $8. Okay. Then the other thing in color club, right? If you love all of our new in colors, you can get all of the product in each of our five in colors one each month right one color each month all of the product in these colors for the next five months it is 47 dollars per month plus eight dollars shipping if you buy a couple of these things there's only one eight dollar shipping charge too i'll just put everything in one package and ship it out to you plus in color club you actually are the hostess so one month when you get the bumblebee oh we've got like a glare there don't we when you get the bumblebee products you are also the host so you get twenty dollars in free stuff and the in color embellishments as well which are those cute little dots right there too Okay, so that's an awesome thing, right? If you want all of it in colors and everything that comes in those colors, which is cardstock, ink pad, refill, marker, blends, designer series paper, and ribbons. You get a ton of product in each of those colors, okay? Then lastly, I have, I think four, four more spots in the, hey Sue, <laughs> thank you very much. And who else? Let's see, I've got, yes. Oh yes, good morning, Miss Sue. Yes, I was trying to see. It's funny how they pop up on my thumb. So the designer series paper samplers. I also have, I think it's four more spots in the designer series paper samplers. So if you wanna get one of each of these, so basically I'm gonna print this out for you with the label and then give you all of these pieces and then you just basically put them on there, right? So I, I don't have them all done yet um, because my order is still on its way, but this is an example. So you get, um, this is the one where you're gonna get all 10 plus 
the new in colors. You're gonna get a little sampler of that one too because I want you to be able to see those. So those designer series paper samplers are $12. Okay, and again, if you need them shipped to you, it's $8 shipping, but if you bundle it with something else, there's only one $8 shipping charge. Okay, so let me know if you're interested in any of those, the Designer Series Paper Share. Susie wants a sampler. Okay, awesome. The Designer Series Paper Sampler and then the In Color Club. Okay, awesome, fun, great way to get new product, get samples of things, um, especially that In Color. Do it on a budget. It's $47 per month. You get everything. I don't upcharge anything on that. It's basically product plus tax and shipping, and I get that sent out to you. Yes, and Miss Sunday, yes, I will see you in just a little bit. Woohoo! We have our first card class. Very, very, very exciting. Um, okay, let's see. What else? Are we ready to, I think we're ready to do a drawing. I'm trying to make sure, yep, because I mentioned the DSP share and color club samplers. Yep, okay, so let's do our first, hey, Miss Sharon, welcome, welcome. Okay, first drawing for those beautiful, super sparkly, if you're a Sparty, a Michigan State fan, you're probably gonna really love these, right? Or if you love um, maybe St. Patrick's Day, the green and white is what I'm getting at here, right? Any of the green and white fans out there, not me, but you know, other people maybe in the state. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, so yes, the flowers for every season gems are what we have here, the cute little gems. Um, you need adhesive, I think I was saying before. Okay, Philomena, I will put you on the list for the In Color Club. Yes, absolutely, I can do that. Um, I'm gonna have to go through these comments too. I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, and Sally saying me, 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 please. Okay, you never know, Sally. So or names are in the drawing, right? If you, <laughs> blue and gold, there you go. Yes, the maize and blue, Sally. I am with you. Okay, so your name is in here like Sally's is. If you share the Facebook Live video anytime between last Friday and uh, Thursday night, last Thursday night, hey Roseanne, and if you're new to me and just signed up for my email list, your name is in here as well. So let's do our first drawing for those fun, sparkly flowers for every season gems. Okay, so we got lots of names in here. Thank you guys so much. The sharing is awesome. I, I say it all the time, but I, I can't say it enough how much I truly appreciate everybody sharing. And if you are a part of a, like a paper crafting, card making, scrapbooking group, if you share in the video on there, I love that because that's a great way for me to reach some new paper crafting friends, which is what I'm doing here, right? Ladies, hello, Miss Lisa in Wisconsin. Okay, here we go. And we have one name, we have Miss Monica Talbot. All right, can, can we, there we go, now it's in view. Miss Monica, ooh, that almost dumped right off there. Congratulations, you are the winner of the little flowers for every season uh, faceted gems. So I will get these sent out to you. All right, dump those out. I gotta get names in here for the next drawing that we will do in a moment. But let's talk about, <clears throat> So I want to show you guys, we are going to, I'm going to give away more cards. I got such a great reception last time that I gave away um, handmade cards that I'm going to do that again. So share the video, sign up for my email list, and you could get these four beautiful handmade cards. This is actually one that we made um, in our online bingo event. So we used some of the new ink colors, um, the Magenta Madness and Misty Moonlight, and then Designer Series Paper, and the fun new um, twine. This is Misty Moonlight and Silver. Baker's twine, and then I've got some little bit older, not oldie but goodie really, but this one um, was kind of featuring some celebration product. And then this is a fun one, you are so special. You are, wait, no, yes, you are so special. I was trying to read that backwards, but that's a fun one with the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. And then I love this one if you need a masculine card too with that awesome Clubhouse Designer Series paper. So share the video, sign up for my email list, and your name could go in the drawing for these cards on our next Facebook Live, okay? Let's see, what do I wanna, oh, I have to show you guys this cute card. You guys are always so sweet with the congratulations. Um, so Miss Maria, Maria Warren, who likes to watch on Saturdays because she, I think she works on Fridays and catches us later. So hello, Miss Maria, when you're watching later. Um, I have to share your cute card here because I especially love this sentiment. She sent this um, because um, she was excited about playing online bingo. So this is what her, because you can't really see it very well, but I love this sentiment that says, I changed out of my night pajamas into my day pajamas to send you this card. 
<laughs> I think we can all kind of relate. Can you kind of see that? And I love she colored all of those too, right? So she had to use her um, stamp and write markers and color that stamp to get all those different colors on there, which I love. I don't do that very often. I've kind of forgotten to do that. Um, but I love how she did that, right? And then this super cute, it's like the perfect little bow. So I was kind of dissecting, how did she do that? So she put a strip of ribbon and then she made this most perfect bow. Like, look at that, she didn't even like cinch that. I don't know how she did that. You'll have to tell us, Maria. And then she just tacked it right on there, but it's like the perfect cutest little bow on there too. So thank you, Miss Maria, for that sweet card. That was fun to receive. Okay, trying to move things out of the way so I don't get myself too confused. And actually, while I'm over here near my water, I'm gonna grab a sip. Okay, what else should I show you guys? Um, actually, maybe I'll show you my cute little, because I don't think I have this in my notes, and I'm afraid I'm gonna forget things. So um, this is a cute little club member treat that I made for everybody. There, that glare is bad today, right? So it features some of that super cute, we're loving, right? The little ornate garden designer series paper. And then that is um, one of the ornate, mm, I don't know, whichever those ornate stamps, I can't remember, that was in our pre-order. So this is part of the ornate thanks, right? <laughs> yes. So cute, right? And then I put some um, Rolos in it too because I thought that kind of gold copper color worked perfectly in that little treat. So if you want to know how to make this, it is super simple and I posted on my blog um, this week how to make this cute little treat treat box, treat bag. You can see it's just like a perfect little square treat box. Simple, simple, but so cute and so fun. And you can change up the colors, the paper for whatever occasion you need that from. Um, Sally, this, um, my friend, that's from the Ornate Thanks stamp set. And then I just can't remember, this is the other Ornate something or other stamp set. Ornate Thanks and then Ornate Flowers or something or other. So. And then some of the... Um, this is the terracotta tile scalloped linen ribbon that we got to keep. Sometimes they get rid of the in color ribbon from last year that came out. Sometimes they get rid of it, but they did not. So anyway, again, on my blog, gatheringinspiration.com. If you, man, that glare there, I don't know. I can't get it. Um, if you want to know how to make those. Very, very cute. Club member treats though. So I give those to anybody that's in a club. So Simple Beautiful Card Club, Scrapbook Club, the Class To Go Club. There's an option for that too if you want to get those cute um, hand um, or Class To Go kits every single month for 12 months. And then also In Color Club. Everybody gets those little treats from me every single month if you're in a club. So I love to make those fun little 3D projects because I, I used to do a 3D project class and then the numbers kind of died down from that class. So I don't normally get to make cute treats, but that's my way of like still getting to make like 3D projects also. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like the little treat packages. And hello, Nancy, glad you can join us. Um, oh, actually, one more thing I wanted to share, too. So um, anybody that's in my downline, I'd love for you guys to kind of know about this if you're thinking about getting the starter kit, because there are always lots of perks for being a part of my team. And one of them is when you reach $600 in sales in a month, you make it into what I call the $600 club, and you get a freebie from me. So, for example, this month, and I'm like, I might be like, um, yeah... Well, I'm sharing ahead of time. So yeah, you guys, th this might be like a little um, spoiler. That's it. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Spoiler alert. If you're in my downline and you had sales of more than $600, you will be receiving these cute, and there we go. Now we can kind of get them in there. The Artistry Blooms Adhesive Backed Sequins. And I don't know if you can see how sparkly and beautiful they are, but these do have the adhesive behind them. Um, let me see if I can find them in the catalog because I'm curious to tell you guys the colors because they're all stacked up on top of each other. Yeah, oh my gosh, they're beautiful. So they come in Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, one of my favorite colors, Mango Melody, and Rich Razzleberry. So you can kind of see them right here. Yeah, so this is the package that they come in. So probably Calypso Coral I'm thinking is on top there. I don't know for sure, but Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, um, what did I say, Rich Razzleberry, and one more. I'm already blanking out, Mango Melody. Yes, 
Super fun, beautiful, sparkly. So the idea and the reason why I reward for that is because it's a great incentive to get to $600 in sales because Stampin' Up! also rewards you for at a level, uh, when you get to a level of $600 in sales in a month, you actually earn kind of an additional commission or income on your sales. So that's why I kind of put an incentive out there to give you like a freebie because Stampin' Up! also gives you something fun as well. So I, that's why I always kind of monitor and if somebody's around like $500, $550 in sales, I'll send them a little message and just let them know, hey, if you get to $600 in sales, you're gonna get um, more, um, they call it volume rebate, basically it's an extra commission on your sales for the month and then you'll get into the $600 club and get a cute um, little freebie for me as well so anyway we've got a couple people that made it into the $600 club um, let's see so we're in June so I always look back a month right so we're actually having our team meeting on Tuesday we're actually I think we're gonna be able to do a live meeting and a Facebook live meeting for the first time in I think three months. So that's super exciting as well. So another great reason to get that awesome starter kit deal, you can uh, be a part of our Inspired Stampers, either come to the meetings live at the Stamp Studio or join us on Facebook Live if you're not local. So a great reason to get that starter kit as well. Okay, I think, let's see, let's do our other drawing. So this one is for anybody that put an online order in last week of at least $30. They are automatically going to receive, or you are automatically gonna receive both of these cards, hey Debbie, that we demonstrated. These are some of my most favorite. I. It's funny because I like sunflowers, but I didn't really ha realize how much I loved them and how much I love this bundle until I was playing with it more last week. So yeah, so $30 automatically, excuse me, $30 order automatically gets you these two cards that we demonstrated last week. And then your name is also in the drawing for, yeah, I was trying to make sure, the Flowers for Every Season Designer Series Paper Pack. So this super cute, um, beautiful, lots and lots of daisies and flowers and fun images in this pack of paper. Plus, if you bumped your order up to $50, you get to pick from either, this is the June Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial, or I finally have them, the free embellishment for this month. These are called the Elegant Faceted Gems, and they are so beautiful and sparkly and pretty. There's a clear, kind of a petal pink and a pearlized white, and you can kind of see how beautiful they are. So, yes, and then this tutorial right here, let's see if we can kind of flip through. You can kind of get a little picture and then you can see all the detail too. You get kind of step-by-step -step instructions for all 16 projects in here. Sorry, it's front and back, so you're only getting a little bit. There's really no, no good way to, you know, because I can't show you the whole thing, right? You need to put your $50 order in and then you get this for free, but it features all new product in here also. So lots of fun stuff in there too. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our drawing for, this is the Flowers for Every Season Designer Series Paper Pack, okay? So, and I didn't have too many orders, guys, so your odds are really good of winning this drawing, right? This um, online ordering drawing, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's see. I'm gonna pull out, we got one. Yep, I got one in my hand. And we have Miss Margaret Fox. Congratulations, Miss Margaret. You are the winner of the flowers, right? Flowers for every season designer series paper pack. So Miss Margaret, I will get this paper sent out to you along with the cards that we demonstrated last week. And I think she ordered over $50 too and opted for the, uh, the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. So, okay. What's next? Oh, you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away this week? We have a beautiful new stamp set. I love, this is just one of these, and it's got great sentiments too. So it's called Queen Anne's Lace Stamp Set. And let me kind of read these two because I love the sentiments. We've got, I know you have the strength to get through this. Hello, friend. Um, celebrating all the wonderful things about you. Um, we have a best wishes, a thanks, and this one says, and I'll be right by your side. Oh, that works really well with, right? I know you have the strength to get through this 
and I'll be right by your side. And then some really pretty, this must be Queen Anne's lace. I'm not familiar with those flowers, but I'm thinking that's what that is. And kind of a two-step stamping, right? So that would be kind of fun. Plus it's photopolymer, so you can see right through to get your two-step stamping in there as well, right? So again, your name will go in the drawing to win this Queen Anne's Lace stamp set with at least a $30 online order using the host code that I'll give you in just a few minutes. It's also, like I said, always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, mm, I'm trying to look to make sure that I've told you guys about everything. It's that crafter math thing. It has begun. Okay, looking around, looking around. Okay, one more quick thing to tell you guys about before we turn the camera down. I am doing a, because we can finally get back in the studio, uh, a buy one, get one free event and a new catalog kickoff event at the Stamp Studio later on this month. So if you're local to me, or if you wanna travel a little ways, come on up. You guys are all so sweet with your congratulations. I always love that, so thank you. Um, yeah, come on up and see me. This is when we're doing the buy one, get one free and new catalog kickoff event. So how I run the buy one, the BOGO sale, I have priced all of my retired product and I have a bunch from prior years and then I just cleaned out my craft room and got rid of anything that just retired. We price it at full catalog value unless it's like a partial pack of paper or ribbon or something then I you know discount it down based on how much is left. Um, but anyway you shop from retired product so for example if you find $50 in retired product you can get $50 for free out of our brand new catalog. You still pay the shipping and the sales tax on the new stuff but it's an awesome awesome deal. Great way to buy one get one free right and get new catalog stuff and maybe anything that you might have missed out of the old catalogs as well okay so these are the dates put them on your calendar and come see me plus we'll have make and takes too and little treats for everybody and we just kind of make it like a fun um, party so come hang out with me on what are my dates Wednesday June 24 from 2 to 6 and Friday, June 26, after Facebook Live, we're gonna do it from two to 5 p.m., okay? So Wednesday, June 24, two to six, and Friday, June 26, from two to five. I do not have those memorized clearly because I keep looking at my notes all the time. <laughs> anyway, okay, um, I think we are good. I'm looking around at my table, trying to make sure I've told you about everything. Yeah, okay, all right. So let's turn, hold on, I gotta find, I forgot to pull out my host codes and stuff. Okay, so let's do that. All right, turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna fly through the air and I've got more good stuff to show you and then we will do our stamping. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is our host code for June, the N2NT6VJF. So that's the code you're gonna to wanna to use if you order online to get all the freebies from me, right? Okay, so yes, okay, let me show you guys. I have a gorgeous, I'm so, so, so excited. Oh, that's where those, <laughs> I was looking for something and like, oh, it got stacked underneath something else and I just found it. Okay, that's good. All right, so we have the gorgeous, and this is why I, I picked this um, Tasteful Touches bundle as my product of the week because I'm also doing a Tasteful Touches class to go. So I'm going to show you the cards real quick and then I'll tell you the details. So you could make two of each of these beautiful, look at all of that awesome texture on these cards, right? So you could make two of each of those cards. I'm gonna give you options, right? So option number one, you get the Tasteful Touches bundle, so the stamp set and the dies. You also get one quarter of a pack, which is a six by 12 piece, right, of each of the papers in this In Good Taste Designer Series paper pack. And this is like a double pack. Normally you would get um, like this top half, you get six 
uh, double-sided sheets, right? But you actually get 12 double-sided sheets. So six by 12 piece right here, right? Of each of the patterns in this paper. And it's funny, because at first I was like, okay, this is kind of interesting paper. But then you start looking at all the detail and texture. It's kind of like um, home improvement <laughs> in a designer series paper, which sounds kind of funny, but it works so well. This paper has been so much fun to play with as evidenced by these cards, right? With um, kind of all this texture and detail and they're great for masculine or for feminine cards either way you can kind of bend them to whatever you need plus they're just great like background colors and textures to use so I love this pack of paper so you'll use a little bit of it on your cards but you'll have a bunch more left because like I said you're getting six by twelve pieces of each of the papers in there right so you're gonna you're just gonna love that paper pack plus you also get a full package of the in good taste these are the wooden elements so they're little dots I don't know stars or crosses, whatever you want to call them, and then some large leaves, some smaller leaves, and some kind of spriggy leaves that you can see that I used on there. Okay, so again, option number one is the bundle. It's a quarter pack of the designer series paper. It's a full package of the In Good Taste elements. It's the PDF tutorial. You are actually getting the paper for free with option number one. Um, let's see, option number one is $75. Option number two is if you already have, so you would not be getting the bundle. You already have that. You have to do your own stamping, right? So you would get the quarter pack of the designer series paper. You would get the full package of of the in good taste elements you get the pdf tutorial that tells you step by step how to put all the projects together option number two is 25 dollars then option number three is if you just want the pdf tutorial right um oh sue wants to be uh, in the designer series paper sampler okay sounds good sue i will get a paypal invoice sent out to you um if i don't have your email address email me so i have that okay um but back to okay a yeah, pdf tutorial option number three fifteen dollars always available even after the rsvp deadline passes you basically want to make these cards yourself and you just need to know how to do that right then option number four is for anybody in my downline any of my ink inspired stampers you can get the make and takes all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards at cost it's just twelve dollars you do need your own stamp and dies uh, to do your stamping and die cutting but i give you everything that you need to make these projects Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, oh, I should tell you, RSVPs are due by Friday, June 26th, and kits will ship out no later than Friday, July 10th. Okay, all right, so let me see. What else do I wanna share with you guys? Let's move that stuff out of the way. We're gonna need that. And this and this we'll put over here, I think. Okay, um, where are my notes? I'm on the wrong side. I am always moving that around too. Oh, okay, one more quick reminder about the Super Summer Giveaway, because I think it might be easier to see on here. This is the fun giveaway that I do in the summertime, basically at the beginning of June through the end of August. You get entries into the drawing, and then in September, I'm gonna give away some awesome new holiday catalog product. This is how you get your entries in the drawing, again, all summer long. One uh, ticket for each event that you attend, two uh, entries into the drawing for every $50 that you spend, that's uh, locally and online, two entries for each picture of a project that you post like I demonstrate on Facebook Live. So for example, where are my cards from last week? If you either posted a project using the Sunflower Bundle, the Celebrate Sunflower Bundle, or you use this layout, right? Either one, post your picture, use hashtag Super Summer Giveaway when you post, and your name will, you'll get two entries into this drawing. You also get two entries if you bring a new guest to class, three entries if you join a club, which includes Paper Pumpkin and In Color Club, five entries for purchasing the starter kit, great time to do that right now, and then five entries for holding your own private party or class. Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions on that, but all summer long, I'll be tallying entries into the drawing, and we'll do one big drawing in September for some awesome new holiday catalog products. Okay. Let's do our stamping. I think I've updated you guys on everything, right? Well enough. Okay, let's see. Where is my, got my grid paper right here. Let's put that there, right? That'll help me. <laughs> the grid paper is what always tells me like when I'm in view there. Okay, I think everything's in view now. It's funny, I watch it back later and it's all like crooked and not totally in view. And when I'm looking at it right now, it looks good. So I don't know what happens, but 
You guys always let me know if you can't see something too, okay? Oh, I know, hey, I wanna show you. These were some cards um, that I made for, oh, hey, Anna, I'm glad you can join us. Yeah, you can catch the rest later. That's the best part about this, right? Um, okay, so these are projects that I made for, it was like a leadership event. I think I kind of referred to it a couple weeks ago, but these were projects that also featured the Tasteful Touches bundle, and I loved the simplicity of them. So I just want to flip through these. These are all the little um, Whisper White note cards, and then we got envelopes too. And we actually made this one at our Celebration Celebration event because I loved it so much. And then there's this one. You can see the texture, the ribbon, all the detail, right? Love, 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 and and the um, all the dies too, right? All the label dies, aren't those awesome? So loved those, and like I said, these are the little note cards, the whisper white note cards and envelopes. So everything's they're the thick whisper white. So they're already cut and scored for you, and then they give you this little, a little bit smaller size envelope too. So anyway, another great example of this beautiful Tasteful Touches bundle that you are going to have to have, I'm sure. Okay, so now I think we can do our stamping, ladies. We might not even need those, but okay. So let me show you the first project that we are gonna make, which I just love. So we, we used, hello, Miss Hope. I'm glad you can join us. This is the new, can you see the new um, die? No, not die, the new embossing folder that is called the Tasteful Textile. I don't know, the older I get, the harder it is to remember <laughs> the names of any of these things. Once I've used them for a little while, that's helpful. Okay, yes, yeah, so the Tasteful Textile um, uh, embossing folder here, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure, Sally, I'll have to read the rest of your, um, your message. I'm not sure. It says see more. I can't see the rest of it. Hello, Miss Hope. I'm so glad you can join us. But and so you guys, have you played with this ribbon too? I've been using this ribbon all the time, the Bumblebee Gingham ribbon. I absolutely love that ribbon. And then I love kind of the layering, how we've got the just saying hello with the little flower. So you can see, right, here's the flower and then there's the just saying hello, kind of layering those back there. Okay, so let's make this card. You want to? I'm going to put that right there. So I think it's a good example, too, of using other designer series paper. So clearly, this is the um, Ornate Garden designer series paper. I've been playing with that so much lately. Well, and I think it's because I, um, you know, we only have so much that we can play with. But my, my next order is coming, and I've got lots of paper to play with. So we'll be playing with lots of new stuff. But in the meantime, I played one more time with this Ornate Garden designer series paper on this project, right? And like I was saying too, so the bundle kind of features the Tasteful Touches bundle, or sweet, I guess, is really paired with that In Good Taste designer series paper. But you can see how you can use this stamp set and dies with other paper and it works really well also. Okay, so here we go. Let me scoot those up there a little bit. All right, so we started with a thick Whisper White card base, okay? kind of my standard go-to layout. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then we have a piece of, and it's so thick, it doesn't like to stay <laughs> folded down until you crease it well. This is the new bumblebee color, right? So we've got bumblebee that is four inches by five and a quarter inches, and then, just a scrap of Whisper White for our label. And we have the terracotta tile that is three and one quarter by four and a quarter. And then the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. Love that too, right? <laughs> yes, the bumblebee has been a lot of fun to play with. And I love this is the bumblebee kind of featured in here too, right? So this one measures three by four inches, okay? So simple card layout. Um, looks pretty similar. Actually, now I'm looking at this like, ooh, those would go really well together, wouldn't they? I hadn't even noticed that. I made this one a while ago and then I just did this one um, this week. So that's kind of fun to see that, like oh, how, how well everything works together too. Okay, so let's see, what are we gonna do here? Let's do our stamping and get that kind of done, right? So we just have, like I said, this scrap of Whisper White cardstock. Where's my card? I covered it up. So what I think, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I am... Isn't it funny, because I'm trying to remember if I die cut. I think I did, we're gonna do that. It's not um, 
always that I do that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're gonna die cut this white piece first and then I was trying to decide if I stamped it and just got really lucky. Isn't that awful? Like I really can't remember how I did it, ladies. Nah, we're gonna try this. Changed my mind again. Okay, so we have Bumblebee ink. I'm gonna grab my little scrap piece of paper though because I know that I do want to kind of stamp this off. So I'm gonna stamp it on my scrap paper because I want it to be kind of faint behind there. I didn't want it to be super bright, okay? So it's just kind of a nice um, wash look behind it. And this stamp set is great for that. You can see probably any of these images, any of these, if you stamp off first, so you make them a little bit lighter, they're beautiful behind the sentiments too. I love doing that. It's kind of a great way of kind of adding some texture. And we'll do that right there. Okay, there we go. So that's all we need there. Now we are gonna do our die cutting. So let's grab, so we can do our die cutting. And then I'll show you, this is the one of the big labels in here in the Tasteful Touches. So you can see we're actually gonna use this other one on our next card. But this is the one we're gonna use. And you can kind of see, oops, let me get it right in view. It, it does a little bit of um, embossing almost around the edges there too. So like I said, this is a must have set of dies. You are gonna use them, I know I have, all the time. And honestly, when I first saw this um, product in the pre-order, that's why I bought the bundle. I was like, oh yeah, that stamp set's fine. I don't know, I'm sure I'll find something to do with it, but I had to have those dies. And I've fallen in love with the stamp set now too, but it wasn't the thing that caught my eye at first. It was these labels. Okay, so you can see, if I get super close, can you see there's a little bit like, kind of a little ridge of detail there if I move in just the right light, right? So on the outside and then also on the inside, can you see that? Just that little ridge, it just has a little bit of detail on there, okay? All right, so now I think we can kind of put things together. Let's see, and I have ordered my new stamp and seal, but I haven't gotten it yet. It is coming, I think everything's coming today, actually, so I'm super excited about that. So I'm still using Snail. In the meantime, we will be um, breaking out the new stuff as soon as we can, All right? Okay, so we're gonna pop this one right on there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do was our embossing, too. Okay, I'm thinking I'm all ready to put stuff together. Okay, let's actually do this. We need to emboss this piece with our tasteful textile embossing folder. So let's do that, right? Grab the other platform here. Okay, and this is gonna be another one of those like must have uh, embossing folders just because of kind of that subtle detail that it creates on your project actually I want to try to so they give you this little line <laughs> I know you can't wait oh oh that's a bummer Sharon I'm sure Stampin' Up would still do something for you I would think if you called them about your failed snail they might still have some back stock or something it's worth a call anyway okay sorry that's a wiggling all over the place all right but yeah so like I said just kind of some nice subtle can you see that? Just the, the tasteful textile. So it kind of looks like a nubby sweater or something, doesn't it, right? Just a little bit of detail on there, okay? Let's scoot this out of the way. All right, so now what I need to remember, because I think I did that the other day, didn't I? Was I, oh, where is my, <laughs> I know what happened. So yeah, I'm putting, um, this ribbon on um, club member treats this month and I used it all up forgetting that I needed it but I think I have another bolt so let me go grab it I will be right back I think I have it right here yes I do okay good it wasn't buried <laughs> thank goodness okay so we're going to open up a new the bumblebee um Gingham, so cute. Had so much fun playing with this. Okay, so we are just gonna tie a bow 
around here. Okay. So I like to kind of turn it sideways, make sure I have enough ribbon to work with. I'll pull this one over here, and I kind of like to hold it down so that it feels like it's straight across there, and then we can kind of move the bow over to the edge once we've made our bow. It's easier to make it and then move it, I think, and try to get it right where you want in the beginning, okay? So then just be careful. I kind of curl it a little bit, because you don't want, if you pull really hard, you're gonna rip it along there, and you don't wanna do that, right? Okay, all right. We're gonna snip that one off there. Okay, so now we can add this piece. I'm trying to decide if that's over enough. I think it's gonna to need to go a little bit, a little bit more. Gotta go very close to the edge there. Okay, so, and that doesn't matter that that is flipped around. You won't even know once we, you do want to use a good amount of adhesive on this piece though, so that it stays really well on here. With that texture, you always have to, I think, give a little bit more adhesive to keep it down on your project. I'm gonna push really firmly all the way around, all of those, there we go. Okay, now we can add, and you know what I decided, because this is so textury and this was kind of lifting up a little bit from here, oh, where are my dimensionals? I wanna, I wanna put dimensionals. I forgot those, one sec. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, and I like to put one in the middle too. There we go, okay. All right, we're gonna just peel these off. I've had more fun playing with this terracotta tile cardstock since it's coordinating now with this um, ornate garden suite. I don't think I used it that much when it first came out, which is kind of funny. I've played with it so much lately. Okay, and then we're gonna put a couple more dimensionals behind our sentiment. Actually here, we're gonna do, there's something about these big ones I have to add. Two just didn't seem like enough. So we'll put four of them on there. Peel those babies off. So cute and simple, right? But love, again, can you, you can kind of see that detail, right? So pretty, so cute, right? What do you guys think? <laughs> Thanks, Jamie, I love it too, thank you so much. It's the paper too, right? And then the embossing folder. Just such a fun, bright, happy, just saying hello, right? And Jamie, I know you like that sentiment too because you sent me that card also that said that, so. All right, okay, so that is card number one. Let's scoot these things out of the way, right? So I... You know, my constant um, attempt at organization. Okay, so we can move those over there. All right, so card number two, ladies, is super sparkly and beautiful and fun. Woo! Okay, using more, because I cannot stop playing with that ornate garden designer series paper. And I'm going to tell you guys, when I first got it, I was like, yeah, okay, that paper's all right, but I have had so much fun playing with it. I think the gold kind of threw me on the back side of these. Thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed that last card. Um, it, I wasn't quite sure what to what what I thought of it, but now I am loving it, and I love the other thing I maybe forgot to mention was I used so those dies are in the Forever Flourishing dies. This was part of our product of the week, maybe a week or two ago, or maybe it was the paper, I can't remember, but we use these a ton, right? But I love, so this, these kind of spriggy leafy details, I used a ton with this Tasteful Touches bundle. So this is kind of a great, gosh, you could even get this in your starter kit, right? Get that bundle, or maybe get this stamp and bundle. I don't know which one, whichever one's more expensive. Get the most expensive one you can in your starter kit, right? Um, but yeah, I love this whole set of uh, products together too. Um, yes, they do seem kind of earthy. That's true, you're right, yeah, maybe that's it. Not that I, yeah. Right? So yes, Denise is saying they look, they seem kind of earthy and she's into gardening. Yeah, I can totally see that. The flowers and the earthy tones. I gotcha. I can see where you're coming from there, Miss Denise. 
Okay, so let me show you what we did, how we made. And actually, I started out designing this thinking it was going to be a tall card. And then I was like, no, you know what? This label works better kind of going wide. So we, ooh, we are like crazy. We did something crazy and we opened our card like this <laughs> instead. You know, it's the little things in life sometimes, ladies, right? Okay, so for this one, we also started, and you can see this thick whisper white cardstock is great and super versatile. So again, we have our eight and a half by 11 piece of thick whisper white cardstock. This time along the eight and a half inside, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half to make not a tall card, right, but a wide card. So it's gonna open like that. So it's kind of fun and tricky, right? Okay, then we also have three pieces of the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper and they all measure one and one quarter by five and one quarter, okay? So I have three of those pieces, one and one quarter by five and a quarter three of those. Then I have just some scraps of gold foil and then whisper white for our labels. Yes, very, very versatile. I agree, Miss Sharon. Okay, so let's see. We'll get what we need out. Oh, and we used a new, um, a new in color for our stamping too. I thought it worked really well. Sometimes our browns, you know, um, this one is actually the new cinnamon cider I used right on there because I, I don't have a gold ink. Sometimes we offer gold inks, usually like at holiday time. Um, but I thought this one worked pretty well, right? That cinnamon cider works pretty well with the gold, right? Just again, a little earthy tone there. That is exactly it, Miss Denise. Okay, so let's see. Again, we are going to, this is for just our label. So we're going to stamp on here with our, let's see, we're gonna do again. So we're gonna use mint macaron because this is mint macaron on that designer series paper. So same idea again, where we're gonna stamp this image kind of in the background and then the good things in life are better with you. We're gonna stamp that over top. So again, I want to stamp off. So I'm gonna have my little scrap paper, not with this one. Where is it? <laughs> right here, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. So cinnamon cider is your favorite of the new in colors. Now, Philomena, I am not quite as drawn to it. It's, I'm not sure why. You, so you see I stamped off right there. Um, that's fun. I'm glad to hear that it is your favorite new in color. It's growing on me, maybe because I haven't really used it that much. Um, but I do love the way this color looks when you put it on this card too. So, you know, sometimes it's funny how different things hit people differently. Okay, so then we are gonna stamp our sentiment right here. And, and you can see how dark that was even with me stamping it off at first. So I'm really glad I did that because I think that would be way too dark. Even that, I feel like I maybe could have pressed a little bit harder. That could be a little bit lighter. Um, okay, so. Now we can do our die cutting. I think we're good here. All right, scoot that baby out of the way. Okay, so let's do our die cutting for these guys. And then we will put this one together too. So another sweet, simple, cute, fun card for us today. Okay, so we've got that one. Let's see, I'm gonna hope that we can get all of these on here at once. All right, this one goes on here. I'm realizing I forgot that die. Sorry, I think I was a little um, kind of wigged out. I haven't done a class in so long at the studio that I was trying to make sure I had everything all set and ready to go for that and down there. Uh, so let me go grab those dies really quick. I'll be right back one more time. is right where I needed it to be. Okay, so so let me tell you what happened. This is why I didn't even have the dies out because I just happened to have one of those labels, sorry, get that into view, on my crafting table. And I was like, oh, that's gonna be perfect layered behind there. I was just kind of playing with things. I must have cut that for something else and didn't use it. So I never even had these dies out. So now I'm like, okay, which size? I feel like it might be that one. Yep, I think it's that one right there. Nope, it's not, it's the next one. That one looks too small. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, there we go. 
<laughs> yes, having a new way to open. Yes, you're right. Keeps you on your toes. That's right, Miss Denise. Okay, so there we go. So you guys know all my secrets now. Okay. All right, I think we are good. So we're going to crank the handle through here. <laughs> That's too funny, Denise. Okay. I think we got it here. I was trying to make sure this one cut through all the way. Okay, so we've got that one there. Okay, so this is good because actually we're making this card down at the studio. So that will, <laughs> I will have it. The dies too. And you see how this just breaks away? I love this. It makes it really easy. You might have to pop a couple little bits. You can see like that little one. So just kind of be careful. But I love how everything just kind of falls away from there, right? So we got that one. And then we've got our label right there too. And I've got a mess, but we will worry about that later. Okay. There we go. All right, I think we have everything. Somehow I've moved stuff over, haven't I? All right, now we can put our card together. The one thing I will tell you is that I kind of pulled off, and I just kind of ripped them off, but now I'm like, oh, maybe I should have been a little bit more delicate with kind of cutting. So I'm gonna take this one, and then I can kind of rip that off there, and then I'm gonna snip around that one also because those two are gonna go on the bottom and then that piece goes right there. So you only need one of those um, for that whole, right, for both sides of it, right? Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, okay, so here we go. We'll put some dimensionals on the back of this thing, okay? And then we're gonna pop, oops, that's upside down. Put that one right on there. Then I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive and I'm gonna kind of tuck this piece in behind there, okay? And then a little bit more, and I'm using my little silicone mat here to add adhesive so it doesn't stick to my work surface, All right? So then we're gonna, <coughs> excuse me, got a little cough. Um, put that one. And you just have to be a little strategic maybe with where you put your dimensionals and then maybe one right there. We're just gonna press down, get those things underneath there, right? Okay, now, hello, Miss Becky and Miss Diana. So glad you guys can join us today. Hopefully you guys are having a good Friday, right? Okay, so I'm just adding adhesive along these babies, okay? So that is all ready to go. Okay, so I am gonna flip this. Are we in view? I feel like I'm all over the place. Okay, so we're gonna put that one right there. So I did the two outside and then I kind of lined up the other one about, you know, centered it midway. Oops, and I bent that just a tiny bit. Ooh, and I think I did do that. I wasn't sure, I didn't wanna show you guys, but I did. I got those lined up. I thought maybe I might have gotten them mixed up. <laughs> but this was one piece that then I just cut into strips. Oops. And I kept them in order, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I love that. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be successful or not in that, but okay, very good. And then we can put this one. Isn't that so pretty? Right on there, and then one more step. We have to add a little sparkle with our gilded gems, and I just kind of popped a couple of those right on there. And there is our second project. Oh, God, yes, babysitting the grandbaby. Super duper cute little buddy, too. So that's fun. I'm glad he's napping, and now you can have a little crafting time. So I hope you guys enjoyed these projects, right? So quick reminder, recap. Let me slide things out of the way a little bit here. If you put your online order in of at least, 
you scoop that up there, right? $30 using this host code. You will get both of these projects that I just demonstrated today. You can get either the fully completed cards or the make and takes if you want to put them together yourself, right? Your name is going to go into the drawing to win the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set, right? With just a $30 order. Bump your order up to $50 and you can pick from the Demo Design Dream Team June PDF tutorial or the Elegant Faceted Gems. So thank you guys and Philomena, I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you were inspired today. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I hope, you have, I hope you're having a great June as well, right? Um, and yes, Miss Susie, this is, I'm trying to make sure I'm looking, yep, this is the one I have all the parts and pieces for. We're making this card at class today as well. Yes, so, okay, thank you guys so much for joining me. We will see you next Friday. Bye, everybody.